Frost Axe. New shaman weapon. This it's a three mana one three. Destroy all frozen minions that are damaged by this weapon. Shaman's gonna freeze people now. Yep. Chuck forever 2%. What? 2% what? Fucking volume, holy shit. Holy shit. It talks. Like Audrey complaining about people's volumes. Yeah. Forever 2%. Yeah. Time in queue, 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Oh, I can see that. That it's already streamed. So you don't really follow me because you don't get the what notification. Do you mean? I am following you. Literally, I went to your stream and it said you were hosting some bitch boy. Hmm. What's your record now? Same as it Hello, was before. Three. Yep. I lost to Affinity. Or some Why? type of artifact ish deck. It's probably because I think it was Vault Scourge. I thought I took out the all is dust and then drew them. <laughs> I was like, mm. <laughs> I mean, it worked on the two creatures, the three creatures he brought out. The scourge, the it was a blue card he brought out with three mana. I think gains one plus a plus one plus one for every artifact on the board, and then he put some red creature out the head like haste and indestructible or something. Sue's coming this Sunday. Are you guys both coming? I will. Yeah. I will. Yes, I will be there. Yeah. It's in Bel Air, right? Yeah. Are you? It'll be pretty easy to get to. Probably just like right off 95. Oh, we got a memory, boys. I've only found one of those. How? What'd you say? I found one, and I didn't look for any other because I knew you got the blue outfit once you found one. I found like five. Try hard. I'm not like looking for them, it's just the guys are like, Hey, I recognize that picture, you gotta go directly west of here. Yes, I found them. Did you hit that joint match? It's a solid found Good hand. Cheap. <laughs> Alright. Oh, great. It just gets better. <laughs> what? That's fine. Yeah, fine. All the ways. I mean... Mm. It's playable. You get a scry. Probably not very good. Oh my 
running out of elves. Yeah, Zelda just complains a lot in this fucking game. Yeah, she does. I guess it's a little late for me to play Chalice on one, huh? Uh, yeah. Who <laughs> <laughs> said anything about winning? No. Well, he's still playing more stuff for one. Yeah. Where's cool from? He's about to run your ass over. Well, are you ready to see the OTK with the Bird of Paradise? recording for something. Mm -hmm. Or where, uh, what's the big green spell? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, Scatic Barrier Hope Behemoth. <coughs> Good as haste. You're not dead. Yeah, as haste. Just need to draw all this dust. Yeah, all this dust will get me out of this with four mana. That'll do it. I think you can scoop him up, friend. I already did. Drew that third map, though. <coughs> That duck doesn't play any white, does it? Probably not.
Oh, Crip says it's really frustrating to lose to noobs. And yet he lost. Who's the noob? Maybe he'll mulligan. Of course not. Why would he do that? Are you sure you like this deck? Because you always seem frustrated when you're playing this deck. <laughs> mm -hmm. You should play a blue deck to see your ambitions. Oh shit, now he's about the all aggro on you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh shit, he went burning tree in a burning tree! Well! Is this in competitive? Yeah. Yeah, this is competitive league. Uh, you're like, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, so well, then he's got the ghost <laughs> corner to blow up the intro lane. Maybe he'll pick. Oh, good, he picked power. Wait, wait. Oh, you gotta, you gotta do the map thing right now. Yes, I know, Chuck. I guess you don't have to. Because you have one more waste. In your day. I thought this was the other game where you had the double waste in your hand. Oh, but he couldn't do anything with the other two mana? Oh, you showed him that you had the power plant? Yeah, the toxic. Correct... Well, the correct play was to play the tower. Tower, right, I yes, that. I know. Then why didn't you make the correct play? Because I actually didn't realize I clicked the wrong one. He's scared to swing into that matter shaper, you see that? Hmm. Trying to decide if I should just clear the board. But I mean I could just let him double block. I don't really think it's a point to play the all is just now. Yeah, <sighs> does, I'm not I'm not advocating to do it, I'm just saying remember it also does get rid of that enchantment back. The enchantment, what do you mean? On the forest. The one that's letting him tap for two mana with the forest. Oh, that's not a land. See, ah, oh, I, mm, <laughs> I really hate how that looks. I mean, that's how I'd have it in real life. I'd have the enchantment under my land. I'm not saying you should do all this. Stuff. I'm just saying when you do, remember that gets rid of that too. Now you're gonna do it.
Oh, it's back. Hmm. Oh, you didn't do Why anything. Did put it on that one. <clears throat> three mana play? I don't know. This hand must be ass. Oh, uh, yes. Paul Rukers, the world eater. Palachronos. And then Garuk, wild speaker. Mm. I guess I should get rid of Paul Rukers, the world eater. Yeah, I'll take Palachronos. He's the only card that looked like it mattered. <laughs> I mean, it's just that he has double Baruch, so you're not, like, doing anything by taking him on. Remember when you played Walking Blister for Zero that one time? That was pretty funny. Yeah, I didn't understand why, why I did that. They were like, oh, you hit okay. Uh... Whoops. Because that is, a, that is something you can do. Like, that used to be a playing standard with uh, Archangel Abyssin, where it said if a creature you control died, you get the flipper, which is a flip card. So, Hanger Back wasn't, it wasn't Waffles, but Hanger Back wasn't standard. And you could Hanger Back for zero, have your creature die, and get the Abyssin to play. <laughs> get a really good draw. Mm -hmm. Nice. I wouldn't swing with hanger back. Huh? I wasn't trying to. I was. I forgot he's not like walking ballista. I was gonna untap him. <laughs> he looked like he was playing a completely different deck. <laughs> yeah. I, <don't> <laughs> I didn't even understand what I was seeing there. It was just a completely different deck. That was very odd. Uh, I guess I'll keep everything exactly the same. He <laughs> 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 mulligan down to five. I'm debating if I want to mulligan down this one down to five. This hand looks pretty bad. Uh, and it got worse. He went down to four. And what do you mean? That six wasn't keepable? I was seeing what you were going to do. If you were on the play, and maybe you could get Chalice on one. And that's what I was thinking, and I was just like, well, I'm not on the play, no. so it doesn't matter. Because yeah. that card's gonna be, like, dead after he played every fucking card in his hand. I mean, this hand's not better. Uh. I have no creatures. I mean, I can kind of search some stuff and hope to draw a creature. Yeah, and you could uh, get a Scry. You also, if he plays, like, the Bird or Arbor Elf on turn one. Like the thing you don't call bird or arbor elf, I'm like fucking. Right. I mean, because he only has four cards. I guess I'll keep the walking ballista. Like I'm, the cards, they're the decks that use mana dorks are sometimes very reliant on them, where they'll keep greedy hands because they have a mana dork. Like, you know, maybe he has a turn two play, but just one land and a mana dork. So he's like, okay, this is good. And then.
help. No, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You can name fetch lands, though. Just not like basics. If he, had wooded, if he had wooded foothills, you can name wooded foothills. Now, if I put the needle hurt, that doesn't do anything, right? It's only activated stuff, right? Yeah. Correct. Well, you're probably not there yet, but no, the burning just... tree, bitch. Oh, we got nothing to do with that two mana? Holy <sighs> Do I drop the ballista, or do I play the chalice for one? If I do that, my pithing needle is irrelevant. I mean, he doesn't have a one or two drop. Right, I know, not yet at least, but I mean, he would only have one card that he'd play. Any one drop he plays now would be irrelevant. Uh, I don't know actually what to do. I don't know if I even want to play the Ballista. I guess I will. <laughs> Here's a good meme for you guys. So can I can call um, Arbor Elf though, correct? Yes. I don't think that would be an awful play. I mean, you can also call Guru Wild Speaker. Is that the big thing he dropped on me before? No, that was the Planeswalker he dropped. Oh, uh, I don't care about him though. You don't. Should I? Like, I don't think I should. How are you gonna answer his Planeswalker if he drops it? It's also true. What is he doing by untapping forests? Yeah, also true. <laughs> like I said, if it was turn one, he played Arbor Elf. I'd say fine. Play the pick. How do I spell this card? Because I know it's going to make me type this shit out. Just type <gasps> A-R. It doesn't even let me type. Yes, it does. You just have to type G-A-R. It'll, it'll do it for you. What's his name? G. Garuk Wild Speaker. Because there's no place for me to type. What else is he gonna name? It's G, Wild right? Speaker. Yeah, you, you're looking at him, but you're looking at all the different Garuts. Oh, there he is. Uh, because that one had a sure Wild Speaker. That one had a comma. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh. Yeah. Well, why are we not naming Garut? What else is he name for Garut? I mean, we don't know, but that's the only way he loses this game. Is if this guy. Plays Garut. He gets to untap, or he gets to crack his map, and get a mine, and start going crazy with walk. <laughs> Clear these stinky arbor elves and run away with the game. <coughs> yeah. I win the match. Yep, I bet you. I bet you had Garuk in hand. I bet you he had Garuk in hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Wow, well, is that your first win, Aubrey? Yeah. <laughs> Way to go. Thanks. Yeah, at least you got a match in somewhere in the league. One two o oh, two one two two one. Mm. Strong. Strong ass, <laughs> Strong. 
But see, it comes with practice and knowing the decks. Like, I don't know why Will was questioning the pithing needle play. I thought it was pretty good. What else was he gonna call? Like I said, Arbor Elf and Birds is really good turn one after that. Very strong. Can't call Crater Hoof because it's not activated completely. Or Trigger Bill. So. Once they like activate it, then I can call it. I <laughs> said if that guy played Garut, that was the only way you were having problems that game. Because Can it make me get rid of a creature? No. It makes him untap forest, which you can use to ramp into something big. Um or make the three three beast over and over. And then it can also he does an emblem, but he like so most planeswalkers have an emblem like a bomb. But that guy just has a minus four that your creatures get plus three plus three and trample until end of turn. I don't open up hands, like, that are decent, like, at all. What the fuck is this? A not playable hand. It's a variance card. This is, but the sea isn't this great compared to Yu-Gi-Oh! Mulligan. There's no Mulligan in Yu-Gi-Oh! Fuck no! no. <laughs> I wish you... You open, you open, you open poorly? Oh, well, good luck. Yeah, congratulations. You played Yu-Gi-Oh! I do uh this this hand does not look that great either. What do you mean? This is playable. Well, I was gonna keep it, but I didn't like it either. No. Why don't my opponents ever have this hand when I play against them? It's terrible. Yeah, it's better than going to five. Ooh, a swamp. <laughs> take all his dust, take all his dust, damn he took chalice, I knew he was gonna take chalice, I kind of figured he was gonna take chalice too, bitch nigga. He must have a lot of one mana stuff in his hand, maybe he'll draw chalice. Holy shit, did you see I fucking put this member on the bottom of my deck and I drew another one? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like Will Tomagoyf, boy! Oh yeah, this member is going to fuck him, boy. Yep, just play it now. Uh, just play it now. Target creature, get him out of here, boy. Top deck mine. Or even Aljazi Temple. I mean, you have like 12 great draws here. You've got map, mine, and temple. Mmm, I am a fucking god. What do you mean? You had 12 good draws. I am a god! Well, <laughs> top deck, but I top deck the best one! <laughs> Look at his thoughts, he's Inquisition Fatal pushing his hand! <laughs> and abrupt decay! Doesn't that kill anything? No, it's a convert mana cost serialized. You're not really concerned. Oh, no, I'm not worried about that anymore. That. Uh, you probably. Wait, does he have a ghost quarter? Is that what that is? Like, yeah, so he can't. Take the fatal push. push. Why? That doesn't do anything to me. He can ghost quarter your trunk. Oh, true, 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 true. And then fatal push. Oh, uh, no. But I don't want to lose everything. Yeah, but I guess that has to work out. You're huh? not going to be able to cast it. I know! I just realized it! I just realized it! Shut the fuck up! I'm, I'm literally selling you less than this. $40 now. Selling you. Hey, look, he thought he me. Didn't see that coming. I'm really surprised he's letting you untap the Tron again. Like, that's actually insane. I would have ghost quartered you so fucking fast. Oh, I can't ghost quarter his ghost quarter, can I? No. Like, not before he can ch activate something, right? Yeah. Unless he taps it, for whatever reason. You should... Should yeah, I just I mean, play the ghost quarter then, just in case he's a retard? Sure. I mean, I wanted to try to get the free card from Seagate Wreckage, yeah. but I won't get that. Uh, so I guess I put the Ghost Quarter. Yeah. So. 
No, I can't just... There we go. What if I drew, like, Endbringer right now? Like, the game would have been over. He didn't even... Mm. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why. Like, he wasn't doing anything with that black mana. He knew your hand. Oh, there's Ghost Quarter. Yeah. So he's in a Ghost Quarter here. Untap, untap, let me 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 let me play this reality smasher real fast, real fast. I'm like, dude, on your draw step. He is, you fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah. Why you wanna. You can still play reality smasher. No, you can't. He doesn't have any waste left. Oh. Yeah. Still looking pretty good for you. Oh. I guess I swing with both. I don't see why not. Yes, you definitely did. <laughs> I'm looking at. I was trying to read the guy and see if he did anything. Cause so I was like, I guess I just swing with both. No, he didn't chop anything. What? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't do that. That that just actually. Yeah, he just quit. No, he just quit. Uh, that was kind of confusing to me too. I thought he, he was didn't just quit. He died. He flipped the three mana spell. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he could die. What do you mean? Dead. Oh yeah, that. I got gotcha. you. Forgot about that. That's what happened to Will's opponent. He played a dark confidant. Flipped the crit turn. Flipped the three mana spell. Dead. That was pretty good, right? Like, I don't know why he wouldn't chump the thought in that. Scene. Okay, I don't have a clue what his deck did because he didn't do anything. Ah, uh, he's a green-black mid-range. You should literally never lose this matchup. Yeah. Like, I don't know what- I don't even know what to side against him, though. Just, you don't even have to. Holy like, shit. You can bring in Relic. I can bring in Relic? Fine. And take out what? Why are you asking me? I don't know what he was doing, so I don't even know what the fuck is- Okay, so, he plays all of the best green and black. So he's got Tormogoyf, Dark Confidant, Liliana of the Veil, Thoughtseize, and Rep Decay. Basically, he just plays a bunch of high-value creatures and Planeswalkers. I don't know. I would, I would probably side out Chalice, especially on the draw. Side out all the Chalices for two Relics, double a, relic. a Pithing Needle, and, and a... What, another all is... Either, either Hanger Back or Worm. Like, that's what I would do. I don't know if that's correct. Some could argue for Warping Whale for the Dark Compact, but it's like, you, know, you can probably put enough pressure on them anyway, like that. I'm trying to think how you could possibly lose this matchup. Uh, if there's a way, Aubrey will find a way. Look at my first two hands I draw. Watch, it's gonna be Unplayable Mulligan, Unplayable Mulligan 5. It's tough to mulligan against all these decks. Waiting for Tuxedo Rose to decide whether or not to play first. It's probably tilted that he flipped the Maelstrom ball. This is competitive. But why... Use it three. Yeah, the Dark Comp. Is it required to do it? No, okay, didn't he have the black mana open? Couldn't yes, he have blocked with Dark Confidant? Um, Fatal Push, Fatal the push, Thought, thought Nuts here. Drew the Maelstrom Pulse for turn, and then Maelstrom Pulse discarded whatever to the Reality Smasher? Did he have a Fatal Push? Oh no, he took Fatal Push. My bad. I forgot what he took. It was like... Why couldn't Karn be any other card? Well, is this is this the hand you wish your Eldrazi trying to would open up? Plant, plant, temple, temple, cards. Yeah, <laughs> this never happens to me. You just keep that. That's really? Keep this? 
Yeah. This looks. Try for I me. know, I know, but this looks fucking ghastly. What do you mean? It's a bunch of threats that he has to do. Okay, you don't want that. <laughs> ah, this doesn't look good either. If I don't ever draw a land, which my luck. Creature, 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 <laughs> creature, creature, creature. <laughs> yes, I drew the best land. <laughs> it could have ju just need one more land in the next three turns. I just need a drowsy temple off the top. And I won't even be that mad. I wouldn't even be that mad if I could just, you know, get that Eldrazi temple off the top right now. Hello? You gonna put a card on the fucking board? Oh. I don't think this guy is very experienced with his... He's made very questionable plays. Holy shit, he's taking up the time like I did. Holy fuck. You about as new as me, bro? I don't understand. He's running a dual color deck. Literally get the overgrown tomb tap. There you go. Aww. Did he get the overgrown tomb tap? Yeah, unfortunately. I was hoping wow. he. I was hoping he'd bring it in a play a, untapped. That was a really tough play. Ooh, he got it. <sighs> Same fetch shock. Get another overgrown tomb. The overgrown tomb, friend. He can't find it. Holy shit. Hmm. I'm enjoying life. <laughs> I think this guy's trying to scroll, slow roll me so I fucking leave. You mean you can't do that? Time and eventually, AFK's got after like I think it's like 10 minutes of an activity. Just, you just lose. Oh, uh, Dark Confidant. Oh, we got a regular swarm? He felt like paying life was too risky. What do you have to respond with? What am I waiting for? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. There's literally no reason for him to have a stop on your upkeep right now. Huh? Well, let's just see if I'm a god next turn. Yeah, if you can go turn three, thought not and matter shaper. It's always a good turn, uh, turn three. Reveals forest. Darn. You got. Please, god light. God mode, activate. Do it. Wait, did he do nothing on his turn three? No, he's doing something. Uh, Activate, bitch. Is this card that good that I should probably dismember it? I think you should dismember the tireless mm -hmm. tracker. Because you know he has a land in hand. What do you reveal? Tarmogoyf. Take two life. I take two damage. And then you drop a Tarmogoyf. No? You tap four. Uh, what's this card? Kalatius Trader of Get. If a non token creature on an opponent controls what dies, to exile the card and create a two. Hey, no! It's not good for me. It's really bad for Mattery Shaper. Yeah! 
Oh, no, no, don't play Reality Smash. I mean, Matter of Shaper. I want to play Thought Nuts here now. I mean, just look into the Grip His Removal spell. Yes. Juliana is your number one choice, but. Tarmogoy, Smale Storm, destroy target non land, non, non -land permanent, and all other permits with the same the name. Wait, is that, now what is that? Shadow of yeah. Doubt, players can't search libraries this turn, draw a card. Shadow of <laughs> Shadow of Doubt. Alright, so Tarmogoyf <laughs> and Maelstrom Pulse. You take the Maelstrom Pulse. What's Tarmogoyf at? He's at 3 4 right now, though. But what's this? Do we can destroy? Uh, I guess it just kills me for free. I heard you, Chuck. Sounds great because he can't swing in. I mean, he can. With both. He can't. He can no. swing with both. And then I'm forced to make ooh Liliana the veil. No, 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 no. Minus. This is bad. Remember when you said he couldn't lose, Will? I told you. No match is completely out of order. Exactly. I mean, if I top deck a land, I can get rid of the Liliana at least. And then, I guess I take what, five, six, seven to the face? Oof. But then he can. Mm, it all depends on if he swings. He is going. So what do you mean if he swings? What if he We're doesn't? Five this turn. He might not swing. He might play it safe. Are you trolling? He, or he might not? play it safe. Damn it. <laughs> um. Oh boy. So do I concede now or concede later? Play the thought not. I mean, you're not dead. What do you mean? I am dead. Five, six, seven. All right. Not to block. Oh, sacrifices too. <laughs> Oof. Okay. I was like, "Ain't hey, I dead?" She just makes me sacrifice again, right? Tarmogoy. <laughs> still. Uh, there's another Lily on the veil. Oh no, gotta go, bitch. Yep, yeah, <laughs> He was about to pearl the shit out of me! <laughs> yeah. 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 Wait, he drew- Oh, okay. I thought he did too when the stack said it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, holy shit, boy. Uh, just discard a matter shape. He swung with that? Did he swing with Kalidas? Yeah. You don't block. That's three. If I block, then block. I die, right? But not, No. Because what he can do is sack the zombie and give it plus two, plus two, so then you lose your thought now. You pretty much just need to draw land here for uh, a reality smasher for defense. So, wait, I guess it's good. I don't even think that would matter if I do that. Because he has Tarmogoyf and Liliana. Uh -oh. Yeah, and Scoop. Oh, I mean, see. You can see what you're drawing. I drew an Endbringer. Um, you should either side out two... two Matter Shapers or two Mind Stones for the two Warping ones. Hmm. What uh what drop is that guy? What the Kalibus a four drop. So why wouldn't I get rid of the mind stones instead of the matter shapers? What's the reasoning why I wouldn't? 
Um, well, Mind Stone, he can abrupt decay on the, like, you're on the play, he, you play that on two, he untaps and abrupt decays it, so it's kind of shit. Um, so Matter Reshaper would probably be a better... Matter Reshaper is also a liability with the Kalidus, I don't know how many he runs. It's, those two are your weakest cards right now, so it's, it's between those two. I I'd, honestly don't know. I'd probably get rid of the Mind Stone, which it won't let me get rid of. Oh, okay, there it is. I'd still rather have my Matter Reshaper. Because he won that game because of that But it didn't matter, which, like, we had to dismember one of the card advantage engines. <clears throat> I guess I can keep this. I can drop in Bringer on turn four. Uh, I'll draw another Eldrazi Temple, drop on turn three. Yeah, I'm, I'll try. It's a sketchy hand, but. That's what I said. It's a thought sees deck, so. Thoughts he's an Inquisition boy. Inquisition. I wonder if he'll take Ballista or what the hell. I think he's gonna take the Ballista. Ballista would be better for Tarmogoy. So if he has Tarmogoy, I guess he'll take Ballista. He took Ballista. <laughs> no? I guess that alleviates my decision making with the, uh, if I'm gonna play Warping Whale, or if I'm gonna decide to play the Ballista. <laughs> oh, yeah, playing I mean, like holding to play Warping Whale if he does something. I don't know, Dark Confidant. Can I counter that? No, you just exile it with Warping Whale. That's why we. That's why we brought that card in. I, I just didn't know if I could counter it, but uh, it's a sorcery, so never mind. Holy shit, Chaka! Wait, you'll see. Draw the Eldrazi Temple? Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so as long as he doesn't... If I was Tuxedo Rose. <laughs> Why, because he got turned 3 and fingered? But the thing is, like, so many bad... Like, he can have Liliana, Maelstrom, Pulse. Like, there's so... Oh. Much that goes oh. wrong here. Oh, okay, time will go. Oof, okay. Ooh, okay. Relic, relic, relic. That's still good. He has thoughtsies. That's irrelevant. Scavenging ooze. Isn't that card a problem? Lily. Ooh, he's got Liliana. Ooh. Yes. Get rid of uh, that bitch. And he's got fatal push. Is there a shock? No. So I'm not no. worried about that. Probably Liliana. <sighs> so he could swing, but swinging sounds bad. Um, so you're probably gonna. You should use um Endbringers. I can draw a card. Oh, no, don't, don't draw. I don't know. Cause any of his thoughts. No, no, no. I can. Well, uh, I mean, true, but I mean. I'd rather just draw a card than not draw the card. Like Okay. I guess. You can use the Eldrazi Temple for that. Um and I'm aware. Turn, uh if you're scared of the five six you can make it so you can't. Attack, yeah. That's why I was asking. Cause uh it makes it so yeah, I know. See that just sucks. 
Because he could have just drawn that for turn. Right, and then I could have just played it. Right. Now it takes. It. Oh, yeah, uh, or not. What? Not gonna thought and three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> I guess he's like, oh, I can't deal with Endbringer's insane advantage. I'm out. Yeah, I get to draw an extra card, make you not do anything. Draw an extra card, make you not do anything. Or you can't block, swing for four. You can't Should block, swing for four. Yeah. yeah. Way to go. Thanks. What happens at the end? Uh, you get nothing. What happens if I was any other record? Do you get something? Uh, yeah. 3-2. Three, 3-2, two. Three, two, you get your tickets back. 4-1, you get a lot. And 5, 